So I don't watch movies really anymore in Hollywood. I mean, I went to go see Barbie and Oppenheimer on the same weekend because everyone else did, and I just kind of took those movies as what they were. Um, but I really don't get excited for a lot of things that the movie industry pumps out of because I honestly think that it's on its last legs in a lot of aspects. But a beloved franchise is getting a 10th installment. Uh, you know what I'm talking about, Saw. And this franchise has a special place in my heart. Uh, when I was a kid, I uh, was rather isolated, and uh, these movies kind of kept me company, which is a very odd combination for an adolescent. Um, in fact, it didn't help that I went to school, and that was the first thing that I would talk about. Like, hey, man, I just saw Saw 3 after watching Saw 2, and uh, I'm kind of hooked on this franchise, if you know what I mean, because... A lot of high school students are very judgmental and they don't actually read the full document and they just judge the title. And if you watch Saw, yes, the torture and the traps are part of it, but there's actually a very deep um, narrative about broken people disillusioned with society, thinking they're doing the right thing, but really they're just committing atrocities, even though they're committing these atrocities against people who are net negatives on society. Like the amount of corrupt officials in these uh, movies that get placed in traps, the amount of um, unalivers that get placed in traps, the amount of people who just are overall mean people. The amount of uh, dialogue about appreciating what you're given in life and how life is a gift and how to misuse your time on earth is a waste of that gift. It really does seem like you're turning Jigsaw from a villain to an anti-hero or even a hero, depending on how extreme some people are with their punishment mindset, where they like to play the judge, jury, and sometimes the executioner. In fact, it was always interesting for me to see how the members of the Jigsaw crew, like John Kramer and his apprentices, I always loved seeing how they got into what it was they were doing, not just John Kramer, but Amanda and Hoffman, how Amanda survived a trap, and then how you had Mark Hoffman imitate a trap. And then at the end, you had uh, Lawrence Gordon, who ended up being the fourth guy who nobody really knew about, and he kind of picked up the the ending pieces at the end of the seventh one, was it? And now seven movies is quite enough. And yeah, they're going to capitalize with eight and nine, which were Jigsaw and Spiral. And eight, I thought, was just kind of there. I didn't really count it as canon, because if you understand the franchise, how bad it messed things up. Nine, Spiral, was good just as a standalone movie. But this 10th one is going to be taking place between 1 and 2, and they're finding a reason to bring back not only John Kramer, but Amanda Young and Mark Hoffman. So we're going to see Costas Mandalore, Shawnee Smith, and um, Tobin Bell all reprise their roles and be that one giant trio of uh, making bad people pay for their sins in some very extreme ways. And normally I would be writing a 10th franchise movie in any franchise as just extra money grabbing, but they can actually re-explore some of the themes just based on timeline replacement alone and where they're going with this between one and two and uh, just a flag of false hope that could have saved John Kramer from going down the final path that we know he went down and saw three, if you understand the franchise. But I feel like this is going to touch on some strings and actually try and get down to the heart and soul of what the original trilogy was about. And I probably count the first four as the ones that are like the truest Saw movies, um, the ones that I enjoyed the most. After five, it kind of just kind of started fading away a little bit, and then it just was a conclusion for me. But those first four really kind of hit that off, that hit that nail on the head and... I'm really hoping that we get some some time to witness the greatness that was the original cult movies that brought a small group of people together who understood what it was this madman was trying to uh, put out in society. I want to use my words very carefully because I know it's it's weird looking up to someone who does something like this, but 
for those of you who know what I'm talking about, because as I go along in life, I meet more and more Saw fans who understand the deeper meaning of these movies. And I hope that we can all get into that movie theater and find out what is it that made things so amazing again. Revisit that time when we were way younger and we're watching things that we really shouldn't have been watching. Um, I'm going to be watching this and then I'm going to be making a review, uh, one short and then one in depth, because I definitely think that this is worth making some content over. So that's all I have to say about Saw X. I hope that they don't screw this up and I hope they bring it home. I hope. Let's go.